Hello, subscribers and future subscribers, I'm Karma Jolt. This game is James Bond 007 for the Nintendo Game Boy. The music is great and I have no complaints about it, and we are about to do it. Last we left off, we made it through Kurdistan, which had been ravaged by war this time around. We defeated two power-hungry bosses named Saddam and Qatar, and now we are in search of General Golgov in Russia. This is as far as I dare go, Mr. Bond. If you are able to reach the northeast corner of this junkyard, you will find one of General Golgov's henchmen. Defeat him, and you can enter the General's hidden base. Good luck, and also try not to get radiation poisoning. I mean, it's inevitable, because it's basically Chernobyl over here. Yeah, this is sort of Russia. This is basically like Russia. Just a whole bunch of barrels and, you know, cylinders and silos containing radioactive waste and nuclear materials. I don't know what else to tell you. It was basically Russia. That's how it was when I went there, which was never. Also, now that I think about it, I've never been to Russia. But hey, um, I don't know if you know this about me, but occasionally I like to be prepared for things in general. So I kind of played ahead before I started recording. And it turns out that this area and the next area and a little bit of the area after that, it's just a series of annoying and frustrating mazes. Am I really not going to hit that guy? Alright, I respawned him a couple times to get an easier shot on him. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, you just have to kind of figure out which way to go. Other than that, there's like... There's really no clear di direction. You just have to go from point A to point B, and you'll know it when you make it to point B, because it's the only notable thing in this uh, junkyard of radioactive waste. Like, there's a building with a door on it that you enter through. And that's it. That's the only notable thing around here, besides all of the barrels that, you know, have deadly materials inside them that you should really avoid. Like, there's no way you're gonna survive this. Am I right? Am I right about that? Anyway, yeah, it's this level and the next and the next where you just kind of have to figure out where to go on your own. And I sort of already... Uh, did that? <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I've been through this place before, so if it looks like I know what I'm doing, then it's about fucking time, am I right? Anyway, we're on our way to find... General Golgov. Oh shit, those, those guys with the grenades are fast. Fuck that dude. I don't know why I couldn't block that with a shield there. Yes, walk into my stabbies. Also, the enemies in general in this area are just extra annoying. Like, they're faster, they have smarter AI, they deal more damage, they shoot more often. <laughs> um, good thing you got the shield, though. It's, like, probably the best item in the game. Fuck that guy. I don't know why you can't hit someone point-blank with a rocket launcher. I mean, I know why you can't do that in real life. You shouldn't shoot anything point-blank with a rocket launcher or any type of explosive. But, you know, in video games where video game logic is a thing, you should be able to do that, am I right? Um, but yeah, good thing I have a ton of rockets. I just one-shot everything. So it's basically the best weapon in the game. Other than that, grenades will do the same. Although they have limited range and kind of, kind of, they're kind of tricky to shoot sometimes. To aim, that is. I'm being a little cavalier with these rockets. Yeah, I'm almost out. That's fine. I'll waste this last one. Fuck! I did waste the last one. I meant to hit this guy with it, especially because. Especially because he has a rocket launcher, and I can't block those with my shield. Oh good, okay, I got a med kit. And I think... That's where we want to go! This building with the doors that you can enter. Um, and I think the way to do that is actually to go two paths back, and then go down. 
So if you're with me so far, really appreciate it. Oh shit. Oh shit, all of these guys have rocket launchers, and that is bad. I mean, it's good for them. I'm, I'm proud of them. Congratulations on making the... Ooh, I thought that guy was going to be able to shoot over this barrel for some reason. I thought I was toast. And I would have been pissed if that guy could somehow shoot through walls. You know, unlike anyone else in this game. Good thing he didn't notice me. Man, I'm making all sorts of noise back here. And he didn't even see me. I threw a grenade right in front of him, and then I shot my AK, and he still didn't turn around. Okay, let's go... Oh, uh, did I fuck up? Yep, I totally did. I was wrong. I meant to go one more back, huh? That's alright. Look, I sort of planned it out before I got here, but also, I didn't do it perfectly. And I didn't memorize it, okay? So... So I'm sorry. Someone better drop me some rockets. Speaking of rockets, have we been watching the NBA playoffs? Because I'll be happy for Houston if they win an NBA championship. I know they just won a World Series, but you know what? I don't care. Because, I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm from New Orleans, and Houston was... Ooh was very helpful to displaced New Orleanian refugees during Hurricane Katrina. Oh great, that guy dropped a med kit. You know, I'd rather he have dropped some rockets, but that's fine. Keeping your health up is probably more important than killing stuff. I'm gonna chop this fool. I haven't used my machete enough this episode. And if this guy with the grenades, yeah, <laughs> you can get right up on him and just slash away. Because the guy with the grenades can't hit you if you're too close. Also, I guess the guy with the rockets, you know, I had him in stun lock. Oh shit, I made it to Jaws. By the way, the, the Bond villain Jaws makes a cameo in this game. He has no other role except for this part, and then wait till you see how he attacks. Dot dot dot. I see, you're as witty as ever, eh Jaws? So if he grabs you, he'll start fucking chomping on you. Like, he'll bite your head, and it does basically zero damage. So what you want to do is, like, step on these buttons on the bottom, the X's, and it will make, like, a... One of these... I don't fucking know what they are. Okay, I should not get cornered by this guy. Like, it makes these little things pop out of the wall, and I guess they're magnetic? <laughs> so, basically, you just want to have him run into these weird magnets over and over. Uh, the problem is, once you step on him, you have limited time to get him, to get his head caught on them. Shit, this is impossible. Uh, but yeah, th then once he's stuck, just throw grenades at him and he's only got a couple HP. I always thought he had a magnetic personality. Yuck, yuck. That was brilliant, James. I can't go back out. Okay, anyway, now you're indoors in a crazy maze that has no real solution. Um, but basically what you want to do is, there are multiple paths that just have doors that are shut that you can't open from that room. So what you want to do is you want to walk around to find switches and activate them in such a way uh, that you'll open the doors in the other room. How do you know when they're active or activated? It will make a fanfare. You'll hear it. You'll hear the James Bond theme. Holy shit, that guy fucked me up. I'm just gonna back out real quick and use a med kit before I die. Alright, let's go back in here. That didn't kill him? Jeez. Well, good thing he can't really see me. I don't know why their active radius is so small. Uh, yeah, there you go. You just pl keep playing with the switches until you hear the fanfare go off. And then suddenly the music changes. It changes to uh, the same song that played when we had to beat up those sumo wrestlers. You know what I'm talking about. What's over here? 
nothing of interest, but it's a completely new room. Oh yeah, and I probably should show you that all the way to the right, it's our friend Zhang Mei, and she's strapped to like a missile. James, help me! How did you get here? When I contacted Mustafa, he told me all about Golgov. I was unable to contact you, so I decided to pursue him myself. I walked into a trap. He's crazy, James. He's going to launch these missiles. Stop him. Also, I guess you can't go to the right there, so that's a fucking thing. Anyway, keep hitting switches, and eventually, you know, you'll basically be Dr. Dre. That one was hard. That was a hard puzzle to figure out. I'm gonna try to bait this guy out. No. Okay, so it sucks that I don't have any missiles. Fuck. Okay, well I killed one of them and then I came back. Shit, I took some damage. Drop some missiles for me, jeez. Uh, anyway, keep fucking with this stuff until you, um, figure out the pattern. There you go. And then you gotta do that, like, three or four more times before you can go into the next area of the building and then do the same thing. Not kidding. Uh, and this took me... Okay. I'm not quite ready yet because I think I can go this way? Did I go this way already? Yes, I did. Uh, I'm just wondering, did I find all of the switches? Alright, yeah, I might have. I might have did that. Great, it looks like I can just walk on by. Alright, and now ahead of me should be another room, yeah, with, with doors that are locked. Drop something useful for me. Tape. Alright, tape I guess is useful. Tape is not useful when I have full HP, I gotta say. There, I got some missiles. Yes, let's do this shit. <clears throat> it's a rocket launcher, so I should be calling them rockets. More please. Grenades are fine, I guess. I suppose. Yeah, definitely if a guy has a rocket launcher, shoot him with a rocket, like, immediately. Alright! I figured out the switches. You can tell if somebody has a rocket launcher, by the way, because their gun is just long. It's just way longer and more intimidating. Let's go this way. Man, that was hard to figure out. Hey, I'm getting good at this. Fuck! I was not good at that. I got ruined. Good thing I have seven more med kits. Well, make it six. Make it six! Alright, I can use some machine gun bullets, sure. Alright. Good thing somebody plays that little song every time you get the combination right, or else this would be annoying as hell. You'd have to just, like, pick a random combination, walk all the way back to see if it worked, and then do that over and over until you die of starvation. This is a war room with a map in it or something. I don't know if there's anything useful in here or particularly interesting that you have to do. But it's kind of neat. It's a neat place to hang out. That was just like the employee lounge. Um, I think that's where I came from if I go down. Alright. I used my last rocket. Here's a way I haven't gone yet. Let's try this shit. This music is amazing. I know I've complained about the, the music in this game a whole bunch. Really, it's just that... Oh shit, that guy fucked me up. It's just that opening theme that sounds a little bit off when it first starts. Alright, just making sure I got it, okay? <laughs> Gotta be thorough. 
you know, like a secret agent or something. Anyway, this is culminating into the into the climax of the game here. And obviously it's the most exciting part. It's really not. Like, this is... Oh, shit. Holy fuck, that guy lit me up. Um, let me see if I can get back to where I left off. <laughs> oh, fuck. Does it, does it put me all the way back at the beginning? Because that is terrible. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so maybe I can just walk right through. All right, this isn't so bad. So hopefully it, it, it at least saved um, a couple of the doors that I... Yeah, okay, that door is open, so I'm just going to assume that all the switches that I completed are going to stay complete. Holy shit, though, like... What the fuck do I do about this rocket launcher guy? Oh, the solution is pretty obvious. Throw a grenade. That guy just, like... Pumped me full of rockets. And I did not... I, there really wasn't anything I could do about that unless I, like, immediately opened the menu and used a med kit, which, now that I think about it, was the clear strategy, and I should have done that, but I panicked instead. And that's why you guys enjoy my content. You should like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And thank you, by the way, for all of the engagement and your viewership. Really appreciate it. Yes, I figured some shit out. Um, hopefully that was it? No, I probably got at least one more switch to do. Maybe two or three. I don't know, I haven't been paying attention. Because this part's annoying and tedious. Get wrecked, scrub. Nope, he shot me first. I didn't wreck him as much as I had wanted to. All right, let's try this shit. Why am I not throwing here? There we go. All right, don't explode on me. Good, I got a health kit. A med kit. That's fine. I would like some rockets and some more ammunition, but that's cool too, I guess. Anyway, worst comes to worst, I have my machete. Um, I've been up there. Was that all of the stuff? Was that all the switches? Well, none of these doors is closed. Oh shit, I made it to a boss. Beg your pardon, forgot to knock. Golgov, Mr. Bond, I've been expecting you. Tell me, General Golgov, does plunging the entire region into war really compensate for the disarming of Russia? Plunging is a weird word to read. It's like a visually a weird word. It looks like plunging. You must be referring to the arms deals. They are only a vehicle to show my power. With your disregard for human life, you are in no position to have power. The world is changing in a dangerous direction. World leaders are making treaties and disarming entire military arsenals. Without an army to enforce order, chaos will rule the world. Correction, criminal brain. Wow! That was his sharpest insult yet. The breakdown of arms is the first step towards an era of peace and safety for all countries. That was kind of weird. Can we just talk about this for a second? Like, every time James Bond has had dialogue so far, it's been like at least a semi-witty remark or like a pun or like a play on words. But there he just called the guy criminal brain, which is not a good insult. Like, that's what children do. They do adjective brain, and they think they're so smart. <laughs> like, that was really bad. Like, the thing about, um... What was the thing he said when he got the lamp? It was like, oh, uh... I left him in the dark, or something like that. It's like, okay, I see what you did there, James Bond, but this time he's just like, ugh, you poopy head, you criminal brain. Anyway, safety for all countries. Enough, Bond. Observe the instrument of Armageddon. Do you expect me to surrender? No, Mr. Bond. I expect you to die. I feel like that's a thing that... That might be a thing that villains say in a lot of James Bond movies and or games. Oh, shit. Metal fucking gear. This is easy. I broke his legs. Did that hit me? And if so, did it hurt me? A little bit. Like, I'm taking some damage here, but I'm 
not at all worried about losing this battle. What a sad day for the world. It was, it has just lost its greatest leader. Although you have defeated me, Bond, you cannot escape the destiny I've created. How is he saying this after being pretty dead and gone? Whoa, have you been strapped to this missile the whole time? James, the general started the launch sequence for his nuclear missiles. You must quickly disarm them. Yeah, you're right. Hey, have one of these. Oh shit, it's my favorite song in the entire soundtrack. Um, I love this game. Actually, you know what? I really gotta say, this game has been pretty good. Aside from this last part that was just like, walk around and like hit switches and there's like some stupid maze or whatever. I feel like this game overall pretty good. Of course, I'm only assuming that I'm like close to the end. Also, like, what the fuck is this shit bubbling around me? Is that just lava? Like, are the walls here surrounded by lava? Also, I'm assuming these switches are for some sort of nuclear launch and I should be putting them in the down position. Unless they're not, and they're just for some electric barrier. Yeah, that was it. Okay, so why was I hitting the first set of switches in that case? Were there other lasers that I hadn't seen, and I just deactivated the ones way in front of me? Oh, hey, you know what? I'm pretty sure I can finally use the mirror, yeah, to block some lasers. That's kind of neat. Don't touch the lava here. All right. Anyway, I'm going to equip both of my shield items, I suppose. Um, I don't know if I should be hitting that switch. That, that looked like it turned something on. No? Nothing? That's fine. What is this, then? Did I do it wrong? Okay, it looks like these were supposed to be down in the first place. Yeah, that did nothing. Okay. I wasted my own time like an idiot. So yeah, both of those switches needed to be down in the first place. That's fine. Everything's fine. You know, just... You know, this is a nuclear missile launch that I have to stop, but... I got plenty of time. Don't worry about it. I'm actually not sure um, if I'm timed at this part, but it looks like I'm not, so cool. Also, damn, I just got electrocuted. Also, earlier today, I just want to throw this out here. Um, oh, you have to use your regular shield to block the tiny bullets, and then the laser, you, the lasers, you use the mirror. Anyway, earlier today, um, <laughs> my work computer exploded. Just thought I'd mention that. It wasn't the computer, it was the monitor, but still, like, ooh, shit, I switched, I, like, immediately switched my shield there, and I was super good at it. Anyway, there was some faulty wiring, and it caused an explosion, and everything was fine, except, you know, I had to get some new cables for my monitor, which still worked, by the way. It just exploded, that's all. You have to make sure to face the correct direction before you move, um, vertically. Like, move laterally before you move vertically. What the fuck? Did that thing actually hit me? Okay, that for sure seemed to be a missile switch. How did that hit me? Fuck, is that supposed to be up or down? I can't tell. I'm just gonna go check the last one. It's supposed to be down. It looks like it's supposed to be down. Well, that one's down. Okay. That game's trying to trick me. Haha, I remembered to block the missile, or the bullet that time. Okay, I think what happened was I accidentally walked up to it while I was holding the A button, so I switched it before I realized, and then I hit the A button again to try to switch it, and then I accidentally switched it back. You know what happened. I didn't have to explain that shit. All right, just checking to see that this thing shoots bullets and not, in fact, lasers. Because you have to know which shield to hold out. Also, all of these rooms look exactly the goddamn same, and so this is difficult. Ooh, I picked the right one. I picked it right. Well, there, I just fucked up. 
And there I took a laser. I didn't need to go that way at all, so that's a cool thing to know. Um, are there any more missiles? I'm hoping not, but who knows? Can I get out of here? Zhang Mei will tell me if I missed one, right? <laughs> she knows how to contact me. Oh wait, no she doesn't. She made that pretty clear. I should use a med kit, just in case. Fuck that! Did I do it? Did I beat the game? Is this the ending screen? Bond, are you okay? Zhang Mei. Zhang Mei? Are you okay, Zhang Mei? Now that Golgov's operation has been destroyed, my people and I can begin to rebuild our lives. I want to thank you for helping make that possible. Well, this is cute. They're walking on the beach holding hands, because they're boyfriend and girlfriend now. That's how it works. That's how it works in every Bond movie, I'm pretty sure. With the missiles in competent hands, we can enjoy a well-deserved vacation. What did you have in mind? I thought I would take you home on a slow boat to China. Oh, like the Where in the World is Carmen Sandiego theme by Rockapella. I knew that. Yeah, that's one of the lyrics. Oh, James. What? Was that the marble? Was that the whole point of, of me getting the marble item? Was that I could make a boat during the ending of the game? Decoder, well done, Bond. This British submarine is currently en route to China. They've been asked to escort you and your guest there. Please report back to London as soon as possible. James, it sounds like our trip is being cut short. Relax, darling. The captain of this vessel owes me a favor. We won't see land for a very long time. Oh, James. Wow, what a stud. What a lady killer. I beat the game, though. Are you proud of me? I finally finished a game, guys and gals. Thank you, um, Tom Herzog and testing team. I gotta say, I actually kind of like this game. I know I was mention the, mentioning this earlier, but like, I don't know. I remember playing it when I was younger, like one of my friends had it on Game Boy. Congratulations, try these names to play the card games. Oh yeah, and if you enter B-Jack or Backer or Redog as your name on the title screen, on the file select screen, you can go straight to playing the casino games. I kind of forgot about that. At Megaharv, uh, hey, here's an idea for the video game gambler series that you've been doing. Anyway, that game was great, and I'm done with it now. I really hope you enjoyed my playthrough of James Bond 007 for the Nintendo Game Boy. Until next time, this is Karma Jolt signing off. Tell your friends I'm great. Also, these are my Patreon patrons who, for some reason, haven't asked for their money back.